guys, Twisted Games here, coming to you with a reboot of a series that I think you all liked a lot, the Mortal Kombat for Dummies series. Now the reason I'm fully rebooting it is because, um, instead of just continuing it, is because I was a really big freaking noob at this game when I first did the series, and I thought that only special moves and other things will get me the, you know, get me the win. So, um, right now I'm going to do Scorpion again, and I'm going to pick his Cold War skin, which is free. It's the best Scorpion skin ever. I'm going to use his alternate color just for the hell of it in practice. And I'm going to go variation by variation. Um, I'm going to put him against his, um, his, you know, awesome rival, Sub-Zero. I was almost going to call him his brother, but I'm like, what the fuck? Sub-Zero's not his brother. Anyway, um, it would be cool if they were, like, hidden brothers at birth or something. But, uh, anyway, let's get into it. So, Scorpion is a character whose primary goal is to vortex the opponent. Vortexing, to noobs, is, um, when you get a combo and you teleport into a combo and it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. So... His basic bread and butter combo, I can't get it off the top of my head, but, um, you know, it goes something like this. Yeah, yeah, it starts off with that combo, so. It goes, it goes something like that, and then you go bump bump, and then it's in the Inferno variation, so you pull up a demon. But anyway, his universal special moves are pretty simple. So, teleporting hold down back down back three I'm gonna use fighting game language Th one is square two is triangle three is X and four is circle so I'm gonna use fighting game language for this and uh, his spear that's uh, back forward uh, one which I'm also gonna enhance and then his takedown back forward four but uh, usually the takedown is not really a big move of his because it pretty much has no combo potential whatsoever. So the spear, simple, you can combo off of it. Let's see if there are any combos that can rise him up into the air that are universal. So let's see. Nope. So all of Scorpion's combos, the problem with that is the problem with Scorpion's combos is that uh, all of them rely on the teleport to be done right after it because they have no juggling possibilities unless you go neutral jump. And uh, neutral jumping is a very risky possibility. Um, so um, let, let's go with his teleport now. His teleport has infinite combo potential. Not really infinite, but uh, you know, you get the idea. The only juggling move in Scorpion's arsenal is if you meter burn the teleport like like this, and then you can get a free hit on on him, like I'm gonna do now. So. Oh fuck! Yeah, it it's a bit hard to pull off, but uh, actually, I don't even think you can get a combo. So. Next we have the takedown, which, like I said before, has no no combo potential whatsoever. We have a good 11%. Oh, it got buffed. It got buffed. So, um, and then, uh, the EX is 15. Alright. So, um... You know, combos, if you know how to do them, that's great, but they all rely on on using a teleport wisely and uh, neutral jumping. Now let's change the variation to ninjutsu. Okay, so the ninjutsu has added some new attacks. 
the Doom Slice, the Doom Blade, the Downfall, along with the enhanced combos of, on some of his combos. So, let's take a look. The Doom Slice. Doom Slice is basically just an enhanced uppercut, but not really an uppercut. His neutral jump has changed. He uses the sword now for the neutral jump. But but his best move is the double chop, which is forward wide. I don't know why the neutral jump is working. Ah, okay. So I guess you can go neutral jump and uppercut. You have to kind of pick one. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, yeah. Neutral jump and then uppercut. Okay, that's a that's a solid twenty percent. That's a, that's more than the neutral jump uppercut combo. So we got his spear. We got his teleport. Okay, I'm using the stick right now, which is not a good option. So if if I could get an extra hit in with the swords, maybe that would be good. So. Oh, see, if I could do forward sword, then I could uppercut off of it, and it could be a pretty decent combo. Um, however, I'm not that good with Scorpion in this game. When I played Injustice, I used to main as Scorpion and uh, kick ass, but uh, Injustice is a completely different game. Even though it looks the same, sort of, its fighting elements are a lot different. So, Ninjutsu's combos, all of Scorpion's combos are still the same. There's no changes in the variation combos. So let's now go to Hellfire, which kind of adds a new element, not to the combos, but to how you generally play the game. Let's set the AI to an AI with just an easy, just because I don't want it running around being a bitch. I mean, it's, it's sliding around, it's doing its thing. So, right now I'm kind of button spamming because I'm like, yeah, but you know, eh, I know that's not the thing to do. So, you know, that takedown, I just have to stop doing the takedown. So, Hellfire, if I'm zoning, that, that's a one move that's added. That's down back two. Down back two, that's Hellfire. And uh, another move that's added is down back one, which is the Fireball. So... And you can EX that, you can do all sorts of shit with it. It takes longer to conjure with EX though, so uh, keep that in mind. It takes longer to conjure and it's slower. Um, your combos are still going to pretty much be the same, but now if you have an extra minute, I strongly suggest doing this flame aura move, which is uh, down back four, because then you get some unblockable damage boost, mix in with all of your punching attacks. Now I'm close to beating this guy twice, and I'm going to use my X-Ray to beat him for the second time. So, uh, the X-Ray, you know, you can combo into it, out of it. His X-Ray is actually uh, pretty interesting, because you can hold it and then delay it. You can kind of... Okay, let's, let's turn the AI back to uh, custom AI. And let's check his move list, see what we can do to his x-ray, and uh, help us out a bit to try not to get a bit too blocked and miss our three bars a meter. So we have the normal x-ray, L2, R2. If you hold it, you can delay it a little bit, but you can also teleport by pressing back in whatever direction you're going. Uh, See, to teleport and then hit him straight from, straight from the back. Sorry, I got a hiccup. Straight from the back. So, uh, basically what you have is uh, a pretty good uh, sign. Now I'm going to go to the last version, which is Inferno. I don't know why it's still in AI mode, but let's go to practice options. And let's hit up Inferno, which is the variation I actually use most on Scorpion. So, uh, yeah. So Inferno brings along a lot of new different abilities. So we have, we already have a spear. We already have teleport. 
by the way, that was that was a teleport with an uppercut, which is only 15, as opposed to the standard neutral jump to uppercut, which Scorpion has Sub Zero has no hitbox, so uh, I doubt if we could even get the neutral jump to the uppercut. But uh, never mind that. Scorpion does not have long arms, so we get a new demon. Okay, I just ex that. So let's start that again. We have a demon that can hold him. We have a demon that can kind of hold it a little bit. Neutral jumping is not a strong suit, so maybe I shouldn't neutral jump? That's what I do with my favorite character, Tremor, which unfortunately, since he is the last DLC character, I'm pretty sure that this will that'll be the last character I do an, an MKX for dummies on, which... That'll be a long time. Well, not no, 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 no not true. Because then the Combat Pack 2 characters. Uh, which, by the way, that is coming March 1st. Uh, I'm not an advertiser for Netherrealm or WB or whatever, but this combat pack looks to be pretty cool. We've got Bo Racho, a fat, drunken dude. Um, we've got Triborg, three of the robots from the old Mortal Kombat games in one. We have Alien from the classic movie franchise Alien, and we have Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, all coming in one day, March 1st. Get hype, 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 everybody. Um... And that means I probably won't be playing any other games for not a really long time, but just just a while. So back to our scorpion guide. So we have our minion grab, we have our minion charge from the back, and we have our minion drop. These are all very good to use in combos. Now I can't really show this version off without getting to an, into a fight. So let's head to a fight. And then we'll end our video. Alright, this is this has been a good reboot. I took the original video down, because that video was just so bad. It was so bad. So let's let's go to Tournament Scorpion. Because we all know we love MK9. Um, the people who play Mortal Kombat, which I doubt it. Who I doubt play Mortal Kombat, but I really hope I get a few Mortal Kombat fan subscribers on this channel. That would be that would be great from this video so then we have Liu Kang who I'm using pretty much because my friend who uh, did it in the first one of these videos also used Liu Kang and uh, I kinda like Liu Kang as a guy too no 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 not, not a person Twisted Games does not like Liu Kang Twisted Games likes a girl someone who knows who it is um uh, I'm not telling you guys because uh, that would be a bit too weird, but you are I, I like Liu Kang as a player. Okay, he's creaming me right now. I gotta start blocking here. Oh, that was... Oh, Jesus, Liu Kang is going ham! Alright, let's 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 start things off with a nice throw. Jesus! I think they made the, the AI impossible in this game as like an homage to the old fucking Mortal Kombat games or some shit. Because all I can do right now is grab them. Keep in mind, I haven't played this game in a while, and even then, I've played my favorite character Tremor all the time, so... But you can see how Scorpion works. You, you teleport a goddamn lot. I mean, that's... Back in July, when me and my friends were playing this game, in July, me and my friends were playing this game over the summer, and that was where the first video was created. But my friend Emmett, he played with Scorpion, but he, he thought, thought everyone was AI, so they would fall for his tricks, but no. Alas, they were not AI, and we beat the shit out of them. Anyway, his tactic was to use teleport. I'm a bit of a noob spammer right now, because I am a noob with this character. I really am. So, I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna try and help you guys out a bit. So, now excuse me if I try and do a fatality, and I don't know how because I don't know this character. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, so this is his classic fatality. You can get this one for free. Well, actually, no, you can't get it for free. Well, I think you can. Alright. 
But uh, that was his fatality from the old, 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 old Mortal Kombat games. Oh shit, that was a faction ta challenge. Damn. Okay. Didn't know playing Scorpion was a faction challenge. Well, anyway, guys, this video is clocking in straight under two minutes. Maybe if I get rid of all the hiccups, it'll be uh, stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys. So, um, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. I hope I see you in the next video. Peace.